Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. This video is about restricting software installation with group policy and Windows Server 2025. Restricting software installation helps prevent users from installing unauthorized or potentially malicious applications in a domain environment. Restricting software installation helps prevent users from downloading unauthorized or potentially malicious software applications. This can improve security and reduce malware risk. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're gonna start on our Windows Server 2025 domain controller. This is the primary server that we use for demonstration on this channel. So one of the easiest ways that malware sneaks in is through users installing random programs. By restricting software installation, again with group policy, we can lock things down so that only approved apps get installed. This is fairly easy to do, so this will be a more straightforward tutorial. Let's go ahead and start in our server manager. We can find that from our start menu, uh, or you could search for that at any time. And we'll go to tools up here. Let's hit group policy management and I'll maximize this so you guys can see it a little bit better. So again, the group policy management console is where we create and link the policy that controls software installation rules. So we'll right click group policy objects. Let's hit new. I'm going to title this restrict software installation and I'll press OK. And we'll see that come up in the group policy objects in indigosoftware.com. I'm creating a new GPO just for software restrictions so it's clean and easy to manage. We'll right click this new GPO and we'll click edit. This is gonna bring up our group policy management editor. All right, and from here, we're gonna go into computer configuration, policies, Windows settings. From Windows settings, we'll go to security settings. Once we're here, we're gonna find software restriction policies, which we can see right here. So we'll double click into that. We don't see any policies here, and we can easily just go ahead and right click here and let's hit new software restriction policies. Okay, and then once we do that, we'll see this populate with various folders and policies. We'll click into security levels and where it says disallowed, this prevents software from running unless explicitly allowed. Basic user runs software without admin rights and unrestricted allows software to run. So this is where the restriction framework lives and by default, nothing is restricted, but we can define the rules so that only the software we allow can run. Let's expand additional rules here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna do a new path rule. The path that I'm going to specify is in my C drive. So I'll do C colon backslash users. The path that I'm gonna use is downloads. So I can just copy straight from here. So we can see that's users, administrator, downloads. Now for the path here, I'm gonna copy and paste this. This is going to block executables from download folder. All right, and then this is a path that I wanna block. You could enter whatever path you would like. So we'll leave the security level as disallowed. And this path rule is great if you wanna block any exe from downloads folder. And a hash rule blocks a specific program file regardless of where it's stored. So that's another option that we could use. So I'll go ahead and hit apply and I'll hit okay. And there we can see our additional rules. Now if we go back into security levels, another thing that we can configure is app locker. So it'd give us additional control. And this is gonna be in security settings as well in application control policies. So security settings, and here we have application control policies. And then here we see app locker, clicking down this little arrow. We'll click that and under executable rules, We'll right click and we'll hit create new rule. It's gonna bring up um, a wizard. So we'll click next. Let me see if I can enlarge this. I don't, I'm not sure why I can't really see this here. And so we'll follow the wizard and I'm not sure why I'm having trouble with this wizard. It's not letting me resize it. The sizing is kind of weird, but anyways, we could uh, follow along to allow or deny programs based on publisher path or file hash. So again, I'm not sure why my wizard is not uh, working properly here, but we can see that we could use this to, for example, add our publisher, select our publisher, 
and we can also configure exceptions, et cetera. So we just wanted to show you guys where that is. Again, I can't fully configure it right now for some reason, but I'll close this down for now. All right, and then at this point, we'll close this down to go back to group policy management and with our default domain controller. And then here we've got our restrict software installation policy. We'll just drag this over to our domain and make sure that it is linked. Okay, and then finally, we'll just wanna update our group policy. We can enter CMD and let's run GP update forward slash force. Now any disallowed software won't run and users are restricted to only what's approved. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links in the description as well. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.